Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We have an absolutely, completely jam-packed Friday edition for you. It is the 10th day of June, 2011, on this Friday edition. Mark Anderson of American Free Press at Bilderberg 2011 in St. Moritz, Switzerland. Where the big protest is coming down high noon tomorrow. We'll be joining us coming up in the next segment. Then Jim Tucker's popping in. Charlie Skelton, also at Bilderberg. Uh, London Guardian reporter Bob Chapman will join us for 30 minutes, and then Aaron Dykes and Paul Watson will be hosting the show from Bilderberg in the third hour because I've got to go jump on an airplane to go to New York for the keynote uh, address at Talkers. And I'll be recapping all these guests coming up a little bit later in the hour. It is total, complete meltdown of news and information. So much is happening as new wars start, as new bombardments start. Uh, as uh, new drone attacks start in, 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 in new countries uh, in the Middle East. It is wild. Uh, we've got incredible escalations in NATO. We've got Secretary of Defense uh, Gates uh, coming out and questioning the future of NATO, saying they're pathetic. And he said, to be really blunt, is that there will be dwindling appetite and patience in the U.S. Congress and the American body politic they admit that they are losing in Libya. It is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Splits happening inside the global power structure. And Gates did criticize the attack on Libya from the beginning. Uh, continuing, uh, Clinton to head globalist loan sharking operation at the World Bank. Uh, that's being uh, talked about. That's the scuttlebutt all over mainstream news. Uh, also, we have uh, reports here that uh, the entire... Uh, upper echelon of globalist Newt Gingrich presidential campaign have quit and gone to Rick Perry. But Perry pledged months ago to never run for president because he cares about Texas. It's Texas. I, uh, I want you to force you to take Gardasil shots. And no, I'm not going to put the Gropen bill, anti-Gropen bill, back on the agenda. And I'm from the Napa Superhighway, and I hang out at Bilderberg. But I'm from te te Texas, and uh, I wear a cowboy hat, and mind you, you can trust me. So that's uh, going on. GOP consultants expecting Newt Skies to jump to Perry, and that's now happened. And uh, Romney to skip Iowa GOP Florida straw poll. We're going to be breaking that down. More on the E. coli deaths reaching 30 uh, over in Europe. Uh, we've got absolutely incredible financial news today. Uh, here's the top story at Infowars.com. It's also the top story at DrudgeReport.com. China's rating house says U.S. already defaulting. Now, now, for several years, I've told you, they're already defaulting on countries that bought the Treasury bills. They're devaluing them. They're hyperinflating them. We're in going into the final phase of this. You could pay 70 billion quadrillion, and it couldn't pay all this off. You could pay infinity. The banksters will always inflate it more to get you into the debt black hole. It's designed to do what it's done. It's economic parasitic behavior. That's why they're on top of the game, because they're predators, and we are gullible and naive and will not learn these basic facts, so we're basically po politically blind to what's happening it's time to open your eyes ladies and gentlemen because you're not blind these are basic historical facts u.s is nearing even worse financial crisis jim rogers uh says oil nears 102 a barrel it is a gigantic broadcast today also shootout between u.s law enforcement and drug cartel on texas border texas department of public safety and a u.s congressman says why won't the feds define the problem and admit that there's an actual war and complete bedlam going on, and it's the Fed's job to protect the border. They do everything they're not supposed to do and nothing they're supposed to do. We'll be right back. Stay with us. We 
are live, ladies and gentlemen. It is Friday, the 10th day of June, 2011. We're going to have reporters Mark Anderson, American Free Press, Jim Tucker, American Free Press, Charlie Skelton, The London Guardian, Bob Chapman with Financial News, and Aaron Dykes and Paul Watson of Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com as we uh, track and cover and uh, ferret out the internal agenda of the global elite meeting in secret in Switzerland. This has been the biggest year ever uh, in the 35 years that the Bilderberg Group uh, has been exposed. They've been meeting, of course, for decades before that. Their own corporate minutes have been ferreted out. Uh, since then, they've even released some of them to the BBC a decade ago admitting they want to set up world government. But U.S. media until just a few years ago was still saying it did not exist and that you are insane if you talk about it. That's why I get countless emails of people talking about their family members. If they talk about it at dinner, visiting their parents or their children or their neighbors, they are laughed at. Because the average uh, mind-numb person out there thinks they're on the winning team if they laugh at people that have more knowledge than them. We now have the full 2011 official attendee list. It is bombshell. We'll be breaking it down. It's up at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Drudge is also linked to it, DrudgeReport.com. Uh, also, Paul Joseph Watson, uh, there's a video on the site, breaks down uh, the official Bilderberg 2011 uh, attendee list. Uh, Bilderberg behind Rick Perry 2012 run. Uh, that report is up on the site also with the news that Newt Gingrich's uh, staff is quitting and going to the uh, globalist Perry because uh, Gingrich is falling out of favor with the uh, ruling class because he's losing so much traction. We've got a lot of key economic and military news today coming up. China's rating house says U.S. is already defaulting, as I've told you for years. We're going to explain what that means to everyone. Hyperinflation and the death of the dollar. It's all coming up today, but I take you now to Paul Watson uh, in St. Moritz, Switzerland, the site of Bilderberg 2011 with a lot of big developments. He's also with We Are Change uh, out of Switzerland, and we are change founder Luke Radowski, also RT reporter and Infowars.com uh, roving reporter with some big breaking news on the staged bomb threat that even The Guardian is reporting it was staged. We, of course, first broke that news here yesterday because our team is, is working so hard and doing such a great job. And we go now to Paul Joseph Watson with a report on the latest developments. Then he'll hand the phone off to Luke Radowski of We Are Change. Uh, Paul, break down the latest developments. Hi, Alex. Um, yeah, we're at an event that's just up the hill from the Bilderberg Hotel. Um, about an hour ago, we actually uh, went in the field that's just above the hotel, um, just outside the police line, and we were able to film live footage, which was streamed on uh, Justin TV, of the helicopter picking up one of the Bilderberg members. We believe it to be a woman, um, and it flew off over the mountain, so we got some pretty good live footage. And then afterwards, we were interviewing... Um, Dominique of We Are Change Switzerland, and uh, he was telling us about a big break in story involving the uh, Swiss politician uh, Dominique Beitig, who before the conference had called for Henry Kissinger to be arrested as a war criminal. Um, and I'm going to hand you over to Dominique so he can explain the letter that has now been presented to the Swiss. Okay, Police and tell us who Dominique is so. again. Tell us who Dominique is before you give him the phone. Dominique is from We Are Change, Switzerland. Okay, Dominique, uh, good to speak with you, sir. Uh, uh, give us yeah. this re uh, report. Okay, um, yesterday um, we went to the Soretta Hotel, the Bilderberg Hotel, where they meet, and we brought a letter from the Swiss legislature, Dominic Batsik, who, who was stated that um, the different journalists were intimidated by the police um, they uh, were followed by cars with the German numbers in Switzerland and uh, black black windows and things like that. So Patrick wrote an official letter that we handed out to the chief of the region, Barbara Janom Steiner, to get sure that the, the journalists can do their work and that the coverage is done about the Bilderbergs because he knows what the, what the agenda is from the Bilderbergers and he doesn't want them to meet in Switzerland. They should go away, he said. And tonight he will come to confront the, the um, event managers about the, the case that Henry Kissinger is coming to Switzerland. 
This is big news, sir. And, and uh, again, uh, you've already had a member of, of the equivalent of your Congress come out earlier in the week and call for uh, the uh, arrest of Kissinger. Is this the same? Yeah. Uh, now, explain your government system. Explain your government system and, and exactly who he is and his name again and uh, uh, who's talked to him. It sounds like you've talked to him. You have the official letter. Yeah. He's already in the papers saying he wants Kissinger arrested. And you're saying he is coming today uh, to confront yeah. the police. It's, it's not the only one. There are two other legislators coming up there in the Hotel Randolins, where we stay at an event that they talk about the Bilderberg meetings and their agenda. And so uh, we have in Switzerland a subsidiary, subsidiary system. So the people, the local people can do uh, politics and then it's go up and up to the, to, the, uh, to the federal system. So it's not a centralized system where in the central uh, laws are being... being uh, yeah. It's, it's like yes, sir. For those that don't know, the United States, more than the Greeks and Romans, as we were told by modern historians, the United States, if you read the Founding Fathers, was actually founded off a Dutch model that was then exported uh, to Switzerland. Switzerland already had a similar model where you actually have your, your states, uh, of course, under another name. Uh, you have your, uh, what, cantons, correct? Yeah, yeah. This, this yes. Called Canton. Yes, you have and, your uh, you have your states for those that don't know, and they are the supreme power. They then vote and completely order the vassal federal body around. As our republic was established, we now have it completely backwards uh, here in the United States, and that's why we're in so much trouble. And so, yeah. uh, some of the leaders of the states, hence leaders of the federal government. Uh, because the states run your federal government, are coming. You're seeing three of them. We do have the mainstream Swiss papers from two days ago where he was saying he wants them arrested. Uh, your prime minister has said they shouldn't be yep. meeting there as well. So what you're saying is confirmed there. But this is big, breaking news. This is the first time I've ever heard of this, that the leaders yep. of a government are going to be going and uh, confronting the criminals that are meeting there. Any other details you can give us, sir? Yeah, the, the, the uh, other thing is... That Betsik, the national le legislature, said that if something's going to happen, uh, if blood is on the street, the whole responsibility has to be taken by the chief of the region, who is also attending at the Bilderberg uh, meeting. Yes, they normally have the local security chief just there inside as a minion, and they bring him some food and things, but he's not in on the meetings themselves. Yeah. Again, uh, give us the specific name of the of the ministers. Can you give us the name of the other two ministers, and can you read to us the letter, sir? Do you have that letter in front of you? No, I haven't the letter in front of me, but it's, it states that um, stop all the um, scaring of the journalists and let them uh, get the work out and do the big coverage of the Bilderberg meeting because in a uh, country like Switzerland, if we have dem direct democracy, the people should be informed about this meeting and that we have an article, article 266, that uh, uh, states that our politicians cannot meet in secret with other uh, politicians from other states, other countries, foreign countries. Yeah, it's called treason. So, uh, we have the Logan Act yeah, as well. Yeah, it's treason. It's, 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 it's like the Logan Act, yeah. Yeah. And so it's, it's, it's an illegal thing. And he repeated this, that he don't want to be a, a part of this, this, this system where the Bilderberg can get a platform in this country. So... Uh, well, amazing, right. sir. Now, now to be specific, uh, you're with We Are Change. Luke Radowski is there as well. Uh, Paul Watson is with you. But you've seen the letter. I mean, how do you know the letter? Uh, have you seen the letter? Yes, yes. I wrote a letter to the legislature. In Switzerland, you can reach your legislators, wrote them letters. And if you know them, if you're going outside to meet them, talk with them, they are they're trying to help you. Uh, there's a few politicians who have the balls to help you. Well, sir, you're amazing. You're amazing. Give us your full name because you, you deserve great credit doing the right thing and going to your representatives, your servants, uh, your, your legates, so the people that serve you, uh, your representative, and uh, getting them to do the right thing. This is going to be very, very historical, and obviously uh, we've got to have our team there covering it, and we'll have our team there covering it, and more on that live in the third hour, uh, literally with their cell phones, as this happens at the gates of Bilderberg. Uh, but specifically, give us your full name.